Hi guys, what's up? Long time no see. I'm here with with Blitz. Hello. And uh, we thought we'd give you guys an update of what's been going on. Um, normally I just sit in my bedroom by myself when everybody's asleep at 4 p.m. and record one of these, but I thought I would get somebody in on the action today since we have quite a few things to talk about. Um, we haven't really updated you guys in a while. I just got back from my break. Um, they played a KDL match recently with our Stan and Ja, who's more or less our coach right now. Yeah. It's been really hopeful. We need to get closer. This is too difficult. All right. All right, the hand thing isn't going to work for me. All right, well, anyways, so am I zoomed in? I bet I'm zoomed in. Uh, backwards. Okay, that's as good as it's going to get. Uh, do you want to talk about the KDL games? I still haven't watched those games, but you played them, so. Yeah, so game one, we were up by, like, 15K or some shit. I don't actually know. We were up, like, 9 to 1, and we threw somehow because we didn't have any initiators, and our supports were unfamiliar with each other, so they kind of played badly. And then game two went the same way as game one, but this time I was playing Night Stalker instead of Templar Assassin, who's a lot more passive. And so I was able to go around the map and we just ended the game really quickly. In game three, I was able to get Storm and they didn't really, they had a Doom, but other than that, they had no way to set up on me. And Doom didn't get a Blink Dagger till I had a Lincoln's and a BKB. So Jesus. the game was over at that point. Yeah, it doesn't sound very, very likely to win that. So that was Poker Face, that was our first match. Yeah. Um, our next match is on Wednesday, which is in like three days, right? And uh, yeah. And we're playing Rave? No, we play MVP Phoenix for the first game. Okay, we play Phoenix. So Phoenix is currently 0 and 1. They yeah. lost against, um, Poker Face. Poker Face. So, really surprising. Um, last season, the only team they lost to was us. So the fact that Poker Face beat them, do you think Poker Face just has gotten a lot better? I've watched them play a few times, and I actually thought Phoenix would win for sure. They... Uh -huh beat Mineski, they beat Orange, they did, oh, I mean, they yeah, obviously... They, they have been doing really well internationally. Yeah, they, they didn't lose in Star... They didn't win a game in Star Ladder, but a lot of teams would be in their situation at Star Ladder. Yeah. Because they're, I mean, they they had the group of death, so it was tough, but they also beat um, LGD's B team, the team with Maybe on it, and that's the team of pub stars, and people always say pub stars can go come over and crush Koreans, so that was nice. Although they were playing on C servers, but... Mm -hmm. Irregardless, uh, <clears throat> Phoenix has been playing really well, so it was a bit of a surprise. I think the biggest biggest thing is that Poker Face has really good strategies when they go in. Like they scrimmed against us recently a few games, and they were practicing a few strategies that we shouldn't talk about until they play their game today. But uh, they're actually really well thought out if you think about it. Yeah, they played like the same general heroes for both for both matches. So. Yeah. They have like a consistent style that they've been working on, and that's the biggest thing if you're a newer team, is not trying to do anything fancy, but just going back to the same basics over and over again, So, and rotating maybe one or two heroes per person, mm -hmm. so if that hero gets picked or banned, you still have a hero to fall back on that they know how to play, and it makes practicing a lot easier. It makes it a bit harder if you play like a best of three and you go all three games, Mm -hmm. or if people kind of catch on to your style and you keep going back to that. But in terms of just playing one best of three, if you can cheese out like a 2-0 win with two really well-prepared strategies, then there's no issue. Yeah, that sounds like a pretty good idea. Okay, so that was KDL. We have five more matches to go for Season 2. Um, the KDL Courier is almost done. If you guys haven't seen a link to that, um, I'll, I guess I'll hopefully remember to put it in the drop-down box, but it's like a little griffin. It's like yeah. a bird... Bird, um, bird, lion thing. Yeah, it's got really unnaturally big eyes. Which is adorable, which means yeah. you guys should buy it if you play support. Even if you don't play support, you should buy it. And then buy courier anyway, so I don't care what position you are. Um, other than that, oh yeah, our um, team shirts are finally for sale if you guys want to buy those. I know a lot of people have been asking about them for months and months. But they're finally for sale on teamliquid.net. The, the link will be below. Um... If they're only in the NA store, we had some issues and concerns that we would sell volume in EU since the volume usually goes a bit slower. So um, it's only in the NA store. But that doesn't mean you can't order it if you're international um, because they recommended that if you're not in NA, if you live in C, for example, you should buy from the NA store. Unfortunately, the shipping is going to be a little bit higher, but it's either this or we don't get shirts. So um, if you guys do want to purchase those, you can. And I think it'll look just like our jerseys. I think the logo is going to be a little smaller because we thought they were a little too big on our first run. And they won't have our names on the back, but it should still stay, except for on the back. Yep. 
And if you happen to go to the international or see me at an event and you're wearing one, I'll give you a hug. That's worth nineteen ninety five right there. Isn't it though? Plus shipping and tax. I don't know if there's tax. Um other than that, uh we also recently got sponsored uh by IOBit. Um that is as Team Zephyr. So our sponsors right now are Twitch, Nixis, who makes monitors and peripherals. Um the other ones producing our Zephyr earbuds, and now we're sponsored by IOBit. Would you like to talk about IOBit and how great they are? Yeah, I mean it sounds like a sponsor show, but I've used their products in the past because well it's free and I didn't have to pirate anything. And I used to have a really, the very first time I started playing Dota was actually um, on this laptop that I owned that was super ratty, and eventually it became so slow after four years, and I actually downloaded their driver booster, I believe, <clears throat> that came with like a game booster as well, and that was actually really handy, and it made it playable for Warcraft 3 Dota. That's how bad my laptop was. I had a friend like that too. Uh, my friend Memoria, some people may recognize if they were watching my videos a long time. He used to play Warcraft 3 on the shittiest computer. He couldn't even max out the resolution settings yeah, I can on matter. Warcraft 3 because like his graphics card was so bad. So if you have an absolute shit computer and you don't know how to reformat a hard drive or you don't have the time to do it, this is definitely a really good solution to that because it will clean up your computer and make the speeds a lot faster. So. Yeah. Plus it's free, so... And it's completely free. So links down below. You can go check out IOBit and download their software if you're interested. Um, if there's use for you and you guys want to support us, that's a really good way to do it. So, and you can also look for the IOBit logos on our overlays and streams and social media and stuff. Now they should be there. So, so that's uh, IOBit t-shirts. Um, we'll cover those things. Um, also, we have uh, TI qualifiers coming up. Yep. Um, we got invited to the TI qualifiers. We're one of eight C teams. Ten. Ten. Oh, ten. That's right. They they up the numbers. <coughs> so it's gonna be really hard. All the teams in there are very good. Um, but we have who's all in the in the qualifiers? We got Scythe. We have um, RQ. RQ. Execration. Execration is Maneskian. Maneski, MVP Phoenix. MVP Phoenix to the clean team. Us and um, there's a list. I can't remember mm -hmm. the other ones. Wait, I can actually first departure. Yeah, Myth Trust. And I can't remember who the last one was. I feel like we're forgetting Pinoids or something. Are we though? There's so many teams. Oh, whatever. Regardless, there's, it's, it's a lot of good teams. There's a, there's a lot of good teams. Um, we're pretty happy that we got here because, honestly, when we made the team, our goal was in no way TI. It was like a vague option. I think I said it a few times in interviews. I was like, maybe there's a chance we'd get good enough to get to a TI qualifier. So just getting invited is, is pretty cool. Um, I think it's going to be really hard, and I have doubts that we're going to win it. But um, I'm really excited to be playing it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, for me personally, it's the biggest thing I'm going to play in, like, no exception, and it's a pretty big honor just to be invited to try to qualify, because it's a good recognition of what we've done so far in the year, and even if we don't win, I'm pretty satisfied with how far we were able to come, so yeah, it's going to be hard as hell, though. I think we could get top four if we try really hard, though. If, uh, for a qualifier yeah, if we if we get a lot of improvement we have like a week and a half um until the qualifier i think it's like may 5th right now and the qualifier is on the 15th or the 16th i think so there's so much stuff to do um we have to review replays and practice and try to sort some stuff out and if we get there if we sort some of these um simpler things out i think we could go decently far and get top four maybe somewhere in there um the prize is if you get first you're automatically seated, or you basically get a TI spot if you get first in the qualifier. If you get second in the qualifier, you get a wild card qualifier spot, and that's one for each region. So basically, if you get second place in the qualifier in any of the four regions, you get a trip to TI, and then they play the first match to figure out who the last team is, basically. And that's like a it's a good way to balance the fairness of which region is easier, basically. That way, no matter which region is easier, at least the, the second best team is should win the 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 wild card qualifier afterwards so that's how i look at it at least does that make sense yeah, yeah. no it completely does that was kind of an issue with it last year mm -hmm. with the qualifiers because na and eu were grouped together and so yeah, like true. things like server issues were an absolute nightmare yeah like because if you played i mean if you're an entire team from like majority from the u.s west then it's really difficult if you're playing on the european server because that definitely makes a difference. When you're that close in skill, mm -hmm. it things like ping do matter more. 
Yeah. So, and, and it's also a really nice reward to the teams. It's a, uh, it's, it's the nature of professional uh, anything, but um, usually the teams that are rewarded the most are the ones that win all the time. So it's really nice that um, at the very least the teams that get wild card slots will have the benefit of being able to go to TI. And it's so fun to be there. It really is. And being on Valve's Dime is like the best. I got to do it at TI too, and it was it was so nice. All the hotels were fancy. They got you meals constantly, and they, they really took really good care of you. And I know all the players really enjoy the experience. So um, it's really good that a lot of teams are going to be able to go do that, even if they don't end up winning the wild card. So I'm excited for whoever does end up winning it. It's a really good opportunity. So... So we've got that coming for us. Uh, the qualifiers again are in like May 15th around there. That's the C qualifiers at least, the ones that we're playing in. Um, if you guys want to check that out, just go to dota2.com and you should find one of the first couple links and you should be able to see um, schedules and the other teams invited and stuff. But yeah, it's pretty cool. We didn't expect to be here necessarily, so it's a good opportunity. Um, do you have anything else to add? I think that's everything I wanted to talk about. Uh, no, just check out our sponsors. I think it's great that... Uh I don't think Nixius or Iobit have sponsored a team before. Mm-hmm. I don't and think so either. As like silly as it sounds, it's it is kind of big for new companies to always enter the sponsorship sheen. I almost said sheen scene. You think so, about cocaine? No, dude. It's just I I used to have a uh, braces, and I used to not have a lisp, but that developed like a slight lisp. And I'm also really tired because I haven't slept yet. Oh really? Yeah, I'm really tired. <laughs> Notice about halfway through that your last sentence that you're really tired. I didn't know before that though. It's like one p.m. right now, and I haven't slept. I'm exhausted. That's fucked up, dude. I already slept like seven hours. That's right. You woke up like right before I was about to go to sleep. Yeah. Yeah, our sleep schedules are kind of dicked here. Anyways, um, we've been playing a lot of matches recently. I think that's the only other thing. Man, my uh, that was my uh, my nook. I think going crazy. Um, we've been playing a lot of games lately. Um, having some issues, but we're winning some games, so it's not the worst, and we're pretty close in some of the matches but yeah. I think the biggest thing is better. just we try our best you know there's no fault in uh, going as far as we did and not reaching TI I mean TI was always like a dream kind of scenario yeah, where it, things work out so. if I would have made a TI that would have been the biggest fluke ever <laughs> I, like would not deserve it it's like how I'm the I, I, I'm probably there's no way I'm like that close anymore but <laughs> for like a three month stre- stretch I was the most winningest player in Dota 2 history, which does not mean that I'm the best player in Dota 2 history by any means, but I was the most winningest on, and people were like, wow, look, you're the best Dota 2. I was like, no, man, the most winningest on a very small sample size, so it would have been a fluke anyways. Not that, I mean, it might still be a fluke. We'll make it a fluke, guys. We're aiming for the fluke. Yeah. We're aiming for the, the, one, the one in a million long shot. Yeah, basically. Can Blitz carry Purge to TI? <laughs> My back is big enough. Boy, is it. Okay, uh, we're gonna start working out soon. I'm not very happy about this because I'm like constantly <laughs> yeah, busy. I'm, I'm pretty much forcing him. To, I, I mean, I always look over at his computer and I see him on Reddit at least two hours a day, which is fine because everybody is. But I was thinking to myself like, all right, well we're always on Reddit or some social media website. Like I see you and I on Twitter, and we'll just hit refresh. We'll go to the notifications thing, then you'll go like, back. Like, wow, one person followed me. That was <laughs> yeah. a waste of my time. And then you'll you'll hover over to see who followed you and stuff like that. And I then you waste so like. Much. I can't even minutes. like I can't even do that because you know first world problems. So many yeah. people follow me that well, it's I always like, get, like a group of fifty. I only get like one or something like that. Yeah. Oh, I can't say the word like. You know, last time I was on your vlog or something like that, and I was really tired, and I kept saying like, which is a Southern California habit that I formed. And your video people hated it, so I'm gonna get it out of the way right now. Kind of happens everywhere, I think. Like, 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 like. Like, I think it um like happens everywhere, <laughs> in the in like the U S. You know. It really does, you know. You know um, what I'm saying? I know what you're saying. Shit, I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, we're gonna work out. Yeah, the, no seriously, the reason I browse Reddit is because I'm so busy the rest of the day though. It's like I need to decompress. Yeah, but imagine how but, hilarious it would be if we all got buff and stuff. This could just be rock hard muscle guys. <laughs> no more bones. Yeah, it would be. We could actually be the eighth most good looking team. I, I feel like genetics holds us back, but if we got fit. I mean, I'm trying really hard to carry you guys, but there's only so much I, one person could do, man. That's actually the funniest thing, because um, we were thinking about that how we stacked up in terms of looks against the other teams in Korea. I'd say actually MVP Phoenix or Poker Face is probably. 
I'd actually say Poker Face is probably the best looking team in Tier 1. They're pretty up there. Um, I'd say we're actually third. I think we're behind Poker Face as well. I feel like me we're and definitely behind Phoenix. I, I feel like me and Steven really hold us back in terms of the in terms of the looks ranking. I mean, I'm cute and all, but it doesn't play out much for I'm anybody but my haircut. girlfriend. Yeah, my mom messaged me the other day and she said, "Bill, you haircut yet?" It hurt my eyes. <laughs> this is nice. the cute, adorable, broken English my mom spoke to me. I um, I used to think his mom's English was not very good, and then I came to Korea and realized that her English was, like, a huge... Like, she visited recently. Um, Dude, she speaks, like, fluently And her English you. was, like, really impressive after I was speaking to, like, normal Koreans. She writes it really poorly is the issue. Oh, but really? her speaking, okay. I mean, you've heard her talk. Yeah. It's not bad at all. Yeah. I, I think the time she I talked her on the phone once before she came and it was like a miracle. I was like, oh my god, this is so much easier than talking to a typical <laughs> English speaking Korean, which is hypocritical because I speak no Korean because yeah. I, I just don't have time to learn it, honestly. Steven and Corey are learning it though. Yeah. Steven's cool. making a lot of progress. It's pretty amazing, yeah. actually. He Steven can, like, can read, read and he knows a lot of words now too, which yeah. is kind of cool. He's like a, like a toddler or something. Probably a little bit than a toddler. A toddler that can read a little bit. I guess that's how I describe it. Yeah, but yeah, we're gonna get ripped. So hopefully the next time you see us on on block, I'm like, I'm absolutely jacked, and I've somehow gained like four inches in height. Yeah, maybe I'll be shorter or something. I don't know how that works. I don't know, dude. I'm My dream was to be six foot two. Six foot two. Good luck, man. I'm almost there if I stand up straight. God, my arm is so tired. Do you want to hold the camera? No. So people can see the right side of your face instead of just the left. Yeah, this is my room. We may or may not be in a bed. Yep. You know. I have by far the nicest bed, but it was because I was here first. So I got dibs. I tried to steal it, but you're like, nope, veto. Because then I wouldn't have had a bed. I was actually okay with it, and then I realized the logistics that I would have to sleep on a floor or some shit. You could have slept on the bed till I got there. Yeah, I could have kicked you out. But that was terrible. I had already moved all my shit in. Yeah. Once I had done that, it was done deal. I don't know if you can hear that, but I'm like really hungry. Yeah. Good blog. Thanks for... Is that it? Is that all you want? Thanks for sponsoring us, sponsors. Even though I'm like the most socially awkward person in the entire world. No, that's me. And thanks fans for watching. Um, thanks for watching our journey. Thanks for not hating us too much when we suck. And uh, yeah. You can go follow everybody on Twitter and stuff. Um, I'll put a bunch of social media stuff. Um, there's gonna be like 85 links in the drop down box that I want you guys to click on and you know give them your social security number and whatever. So, you hello everybody, you guys, this is Purge. Check out our sponsor links. If you guys could do that, it'd be cool. And that includes following this guy on Twitter. Like, try to give him like a big box so he feels special and you can't even see all the people that followed him. Because if like enough people follow you, it only shows you like eight profiles and it just says 58 people followed him. Yeah, it's nice. He's never had that before and it would be a really nice present. And it don't follow Blitz it. Dota without the underscore. Yeah, that's that a Russian guy that's really angry. A bastard. I remember when Ake followed him. <laughs> yeah, it was kind of sweet because <laughs> he was trying to follow me, but he missed. Yeah. Some imposter. And he didn't take the time to <laughs> correct it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, that's it. Goodbye, guys. We'll see you later.